All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Usually I would have a stream highlight for today, but Twitch was being weird and I couldn't go live. So I'm just recording on, on my own. So yeah, uh, this is the Zaru team that I made the other day on stream. Uh, and we're just gonna be getting a few games of it on the casual ladder since the official series 13 ladder is not yet up And I don't want to play series 12 for a while unless it's a tournament. So yeah If you guys enjoyed this standpoint in time do me a favor Leave a like in the video subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content and That's my comment question of the day, which is how do you think Zarud would fare in a non Rillaboom metagame? Let me know. I feel like it's actually a halfway decent Pokemon, even without Rillaboom, or even like with Rillaboom. So without Rillaboom, it could be fairly okay. Anyways, let's get into it. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead to when I actually get a match that, you know, is Series 13, or at least close to Series 13, depending on how long I'm willing to record, because, yeah, I have stuff to do. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and just see if uh, the first one is. Um, you know what? I'll count it. Why not? Why not? I'll count it. All right. So we're seeing it's technically series 12, but you know, series 12 is legal series 13. And it's, it's kind of the same. I don't know. Sometimes, especially with like Venusaur and Charizard, you don't want a third restricted. It, it depends. I feel like three is the sweet spot, though. Uh, we do see Zekrom Groudon as the restricted duo here. Uh, Charizard, Venusaur, Grim Snarl, and Comfey. I'd imagine that that's it. That's it. Sucks about Comfey is the Groudon or the Zekrom could be weakness policy, but I'm gonna make a pretty educated guess and say it's probably the Zekrom. Uh, Xerneas plus Zacian's a pretty annoying lead for them though, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. Uh, it sort of messes with their entire game plan, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring the Groudon and. In cinema in the back. So let's see if we can get a Xerneas game. I feel like if I can get a Xerneas game, this is probably it. Obviously, if they ended up leading off with like. <laughs> if they ended up leading off with like Charizard, I kind of just lose on lead here, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I just want to. I really want a Xerneas game, so I'm going to fish for it. All right. Let's see. Okay, uh, sorry, I was looking down for a second. Uh, they let off with Groudon plus uh, Grimmsnarl, which is a pretty okay lead for me, to be honest. I'd imagine that in this situation, they'd be a little bit more concerned with the uh, Zacian than the Xerneas. And uh, beyond that, I'm actually a pretty bulky Xerneas, so I'm going to go ahead and attempt my turn one Geomancy. Uh, and we'll get in my uh, Incineroar here, which will be able to intimidate the Groudon. It feels weird. I almost never just like straight up record matches and commentate over them. I'm so used to like I used to do this right, and and now I like always just live stream my matches for the sake of like time efficiency. Because you know I got a full time job. I have a lot. I have a lot of stuff going on in my life. I'm a very busy person. Um, I I file taxes. Okay, reflect. I'd imagine that's just a Presbus Blades, but I'm Shookaberry and Cinderer and a very bulky Zernia, so I should be fine. They also went for Reflect this turn, so I'm in a pretty decent spot just to get a KO on this, uh, on this Grim Snarl. By the way, the Xerneas is bold. I forget what the speed stat is. Let me check the speed stat. Let me open up Showdown. Alright, if I open up Showdown, please don't open it up on the layout. I don't want it to open up on the layout. Yeah, they go for the P-Blades. Uh, Incineroar's gonna go ahead and eat his little berry. He's a very chunky dude. And as you can see, he takes negligible damage from that because Incineroar's busted. Uh, thank you, Nermal. You're gonna see my, my nicknames. I'm a big Garfield fan, if you couldn't notice. Okay, I'm 148 speed, so I just, you know, outspeed everything. Uh, I'm gonna Dynamax here because I'm pretty sure that's literally just game if I get rid of the Grim Snarl and go for the Fake Out. Yeah, they can be, like, AV and, like, Max Quake me, but I'm, I'm, yeah, no, that's, I'd imagine that that's game if I get rid of this thing. What is that Pokemon? Oh, okay, that's a pretty, it's a pretty cool Pokemon there. Um, a little bit annoying. However, I am going to be outspeeding it if I manage to fake out and go for the uh, max starfall into this dude. 
If you're wondering why I maxed, it's just in case they wanted to Dynamax and go for like a max steel spike. Uh, it just covers for that possibility, because while it is at minus one and I am running a bold Xerneas, it, it, it wouldn't like taking that hit, you know? It, it would be a very, not very cool thing. All right, light screen denied, game secured, money in the bag, dog going to sleep on his little bed next to my recording setup. It's, it's the small things in life. And it's the small things on screen that are about to get knocked out because I'm Dynamaxed. Okay. And he takes some solar power chip, which is very fine. Very cool, very awesome. Um, I think it's always going to be my play to go for that... Oh, wait. No, actually, you know, I have terrain up. I can't be put to sleep. I can't be put to sleep. This is actually, like, perfectly fine for me. Uh, did I click the right one? Is that... Yeah, they're both 130. It doesn't matter. Let's do this. Maybe I double... Uh, I... I kind of want to double the Charizard because I don't think they max guard here. Um... They might even... I, I, they want to Dynamax Venusaur, right? But even that's dangerous. However, I do have to double target the Charizard, I think, just in case they go for a max Airstream, because then the Venusaur is pretty annoying to deal with. And the Charizard itself is really annoying to deal with, so... Getting rid of this early on is nice. Um, and yeah, they don't Dynamax the Venusaur, so I should take a Sludge Bomb from it pretty okay. And I doubt they max guarded here. Max Starfall gonna do a decent amount not enough to ko but the flare blitz plus solar power may be enough they forget about <laughs> they forget about terrain all right cool xernia should eat that up okay because we are at plus two special defense still broken still a busted pokemon though all right life orb let's see if flare blitz plus solar power does it oh wait they do have a reflect up so probably not probably not however um two turns of solar power will ko this charizard and now it's pretty much just like I KO the Venusaur. I think I always go for the Venusaur, to be honest. Yeah, I always go for the Venusaur here, and I could save my dude. But there's not really anything worth saving it for, because uh, I don't want to take anything, really. I think I just let... Do I keep you on the field? I think I keep... I, I actually... You know what? If we get rid of anything, I think we get rid of Zacian here. And even then, Zacian should be fine. Like, they might go for, like, a Sludge Bomb into it or, like, a Leaf Storm. If, if I lose the Zacian, it's not the end of the world, is, is my point. Because Incineroar plus Groudon is better for the endgame, considering what we saw on their team. Yeah, they max guard that thing, so I'm good. This is going to do a decent chunk, because it is one of the strongest moves in the game at this point. Doesn't quite KO, but that's fine. They go for the Earth Power. That's fine. I, like, I'm going to eat that up like Reese's Puffs. Literally could not care less. Charizard goes down to its Solar Power. And as soon as the Sun's gone, I'm fairly certain I win. If we're assuming AV Groudon, I always just target the Groudon. Or I could just outspeed... No, I, I always just go for the Venusaur because I think behind Protect, I KO it. Um, and then I just Behemoth Blade the Groudon and win with my Incineroar plus Groudon in the back. So this is fine. Alright. Actually, I just Dazzling Gleam. <laughs> I don't have to choose. I really don't. Choosing's for losers. Dazzling Gleam's for winners. Remember that. This was pretty much a Series 12 match. Oh, wait, no. I have three restricted. Never mind. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This was Series... Th Your team is Series 13 legal. We're fine. My Xerneas has a license plate. This thing's street legal. I could ride it down the street if I wanted to. Alright, not quite a KO. We're fine, though. P-Blades. We'll pick up the KO on both, but... I imagine if it took the Dazzling Gleam that well, it's probably AV. So I literally just fake out. And guess what, guys? We get to see the animation for Heat Crash. When's the last time you guys saw that? Because it feels like Groudon only really uses it for, like, Max Flare. And Dynamax 
kind of killed, um, what's it called? Dynamax kind of killed weight-based moves, which is kind of annoying. You only really use them for, like, the high power max move. Also, um, comment section, I do have a question for you guys. Uh, I've been trying to think of Patreon content because I 100% have been neglecting Patreon. I'm trying to think of, like, fun ideas. One of the ideas that I had for a while was just starting from bottom of the ladder on um, Showdown and, like, literally just doing pure laddering on Showdown. Like, from zero to... Thank you, Nintendo Switch. Uh, from, like, literally 1,000 all the way up to as high as I can go with, like, a different team every few hundred points. That'd be a fun little series. Um, but also, I was considering doing something like trying out Smogon OU or... Uh, what is it called, or uh, doubles OU, or something like that, or even battle spot singles. But I feel like battle spot singles is like a pretty lame format. <laughs> From what I heard, it's like right now all Zashi and Mimikyu stuff, and this is series 13. Hello, all right, this is kind of cool. We see double dragons, so it looks like my uh, my Xerneas can go hard here. However, it's going to be 100% necessary to protect it with the Charizard. Let's go ahead and lead off Xerneas Charizard, Groudon, and can I bring Zerud to this game? It's irresponsible, but it's fun. All right. Melmetal? That's Melmetal. That's a Victini, okay. Um, let's play a little game I like to call Will They Do the Thing That I Don't Want Them To Do, which is Final Gambit, and also please don't go for Max Rockfall. That's, that's a fun game to play with your friends. Um, so join me for this installment of Will They Do the Thing I Don't Want To Do, I, I, don't, I Don't Want Them To Do, but also they might Max Rockfall. Let's do it, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and protect and uh, max airstream because if they are final gambit, final. By the way, that's the thing I don't want them to do. Spoilers. Uh, if they final gambit, either of my Pokemon, it could be very bad. Except I think Xerneas. No, Xerneas doesn't live because I have four HP investment. Xerneas spread, by the way, is write this down on your phones. Four HP, one sixty-four defense, bold, sixty-eight special attack, forty-four special defense, two twenty-eight speed. Write that down. Try it out. All right. Um, it seems that there was no reason for me to do the thing that I did. However, I will stand by it. Or maybe they're just not Scarf Final Gambit. And they're just regular Final Gambit. And I avoided a major tragedy. Or it could be worse. Who knows? Blue Flare. We're, we're set. We're good. We're gaming. Non-stop gaming. Every day. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can 100% Geomancy here and absolutely live the hit. I can also go for my fire move and KO this thing. And the reason I go for the fire move here is because it will KO the Victini from this range. Um, and I believe the Victini and the Reshiram are the two fire types they have. So if I get rid of the Victini, at least one thing each turn uh, from now on will be taking that max wildfire damage. And yeah, um, we're outspeeding this Reshiram 100% of the time now, unless they were like Choice Scarf. Uh, and I go for my Geomancy here. I'll be able to take the Blue Flare super easily. I suppose they could crit though. That wouldn't be great. And now I'm just like in a very good position. I have a Charizard to defend from Melmetal. I have a plus two Geomancy Xerneas. We're, we're in a good position. Like I think regardless of what happens, unless they, oh, that's Outrage. Maybe this wasn't a Series 13 team and it's just like someone using like a fun combination. This, that's the thing with this format. You can't tell what's a Series 13 team and what's just someone saying, I really like Victini. Because all the teams look the same. Because like a casual player's team on like casual ladder will include a lot of Series 13 Pokemon. It's hard to draw the line. All right, uh, I Dazzling Gleam here and I just Airstream into the uh, Rayquaza because it could be Sash. I, I don't know if it is.
Ray goes down. Reshiram should go down too, unless they're AV. Um, I'm surprised they haven't Dynamaxed it all yet. All right. I mean, what's in the back? Melmetal? <gasps> it's him! Gigantamax for me. Do it now. Do it now, because we're going to do a science experiment. That science experiment is called, I'm going to hit you with the strongest move I have at my disposal. Dynamax or Melmetal? Gigantamax it. Do whatever you want. I want to see how much this does to Dynamax Melmetal. Pretty sure it one-shots. Because Melmetal has really good HP, and really good defense, and really good attack. Special defense is lacking. Oh yeah, that sounds like a Dynamax. Or it feels like a Dynamax, because they paused. The game paused, I guess. Slowed down. There was a moment. There he is! There he goes. All right. So, I mean, I, I don't know if that person had like a Series 13 team or whatever. It, the Outrage Reshiram made me think twice. But maybe it's like tech. Maybe like... Maybe it's like a mixed Reshiram and it just has like max flare off a of blue flare for some kind of damage calc I'm not aware of. I don't know. You, can, you can't tell in this format right now. You're only going to be able to tell in Master Ball tier when the, when the series actually rolls around. Because right now we're playing on casual. Hopefully I can get a third Series 13 match in a row just to make sure I don't have to like skip over matches and, and editing. Just three in a row. Come on. You know what, Chris? All right, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna to be right back. We'll, we'll resume as soon as I can like get a match. All right. Let's try this again. You see, I totally won against Chris. I definitely didn't forfeit turn one. Totally beat Chris. Definitely. He didn't He didn't sweep me with, with Dragon Dance, Rock Slide, uh, Tyranitar, and then flinch me while I was Dynamax somehow. Chris does not have otherworldly powers. Our next opponent, though, does. Because he's got a Series 13 team, right? Do I... I, I don't count that. Okay, let's try again. All right, I have a good feeling about this one. Kyle? All right, Kyle, get ready to punch a hole in the wall. Okay, that, that's, that, does, that does, that series, okay. Okay, I'm going to give it one more try, and if it isn't a series 13 team, you, you guys are literally just going to see me, like, battle someone and taking the match far more seriously than them. I, I don't care if this person's rolling up with a Caterpie, I am going to max, max wildfire it. You know, I, I, I'm gonna stick to my word. I'm stick, guys. You can, you know what? Just I, let's just let's just talk about life. You know, sometimes, um, sometimes uh, there are a lot of things about being a, a Pokemon YouTuber that people just don't know about. Um, and one of those things is the um, eternal struggle of getting a a match when a fun new format has dropped, and um, the ladder has not gone up yet. Not on Pokemon Showdown not on the official ladder and you just kind of have to hope that you find either a viewer battles or uh b casual battle players who know that this is that weird time period where you look for matches on the casual ladder <laughs> that's just how it is give me it's giving me ma major bdsp vibes major bdsp vibes um and if i lose this match uh, i have to hang up my hat Okay, um, I, I feel like in this position, by the way, I, I'd, I'd imagine this person's just playing for fun, but I, I need the extra, I, it feels weird not uploading a YouTube video that's like more than 20 minutes, so I'm gonna do this anyways, uh, and just talk to you guys. Let, well, it's it's gonna be like a commentary video. Remember 2016 when YouTube was flooded with awful commentary videos and they're just playing like CSGO surfing? That's what I'm doing right now, but instead of CSGO surfing, I'm trying to do it over competitive Pokemon, or casual Pokemon. 
half competitive Pokemon because only one of us is like playing with like a super competitive team. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's like a, 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 in all honesty though, that is a real thing that happens to a lot of YouTubers. Ask your favorite YouTuber, is it really weird getting Series 13 matches right now? Um, I know my buddy James Beck, uh, when, when he records for like formats that have not yet come out, he, what? Okay, never mind. All right, that scared me. <laughs> when he has to record for formats that have not yet come out yet, he just doesn't. He says, I don't feel like doing this right now, so I'm not gonna. And I really respect him for it. So I guarantee you, if I go check out James's channel, he's grinding, you know, back-to-back -back battles or back-to-back -back battles. I don't know how you pronounce that series because it's back-to-back, -back, but it's it's back-to-back. -back. We'll call it back-to-back -back battles. Um, he's recording that on Series 12 right now and, like, still taking the ladder super seriously despite the format pretty much being over. And I, I have mad respect for that because that's, like, that's the real grind. Me, you know me. I like to use, like, a lot of super weird teams. So when a format drops that allows me to expand the pool of Pokemon that I'm allowed to use, I'll end up using them. Like, and, and I'll, like, do whatever it takes to get those games. I, if you didn't know, this is actually a fun fact about the Moxie Boosted YouTube lore channel. Um who makes competitive Pokemon lore videos, I'm actually the person who came up with the code for finding battles on BDSP for VGC. I came up with the 2021-2022 code to which uh, Joey Pokiam, who saw this and follows me on, on Twitter, claim to fame, shout out me uh, and him and the entire extended Pokemon cinematic universe, uh, he said, oh, good idea. Let's make the singles one just the reverse of that, 2022-2021. And he did that. So I am indirectly responsible for the BDSP code that people use to get matches on that. That's that's something that's kind of cool. Anyways, that's just like a little fun fact about lore uh, with the channel. Uh, other fun fact about me, my dad is really into the Friday films. Um, if you've ever seen the Friday movies, uh, that my dad was really into them because, you know, 90s. Uh, and, uh, he, for the first seven years of my life, referred to me almost exclusively as Smokey, who is, uh, one of the main characters in that, in that movie, so that's, that's pretty cool, and we're gonna see a Dynamax Absol, and I feel really bad, because Absol is one of my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I hope you're focused, Sash. You are! Alright, round of applause. Okay. And, uh, boom goes the dynamite. Okay. So yeah, I, that's that's literally the last battle I'm gonna do tonight. I've been trying to find a game for the past 20 minutes. Uh, and sometimes you just don't, you don't luck out. And that's just how it is, you know? I managed to get two games that count, sort of. Uh, and that's just that's just what we're doing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even if it wasn't the most competitive video. Uh, I did have fun making it because this last battle, I just got to talk about YouTube stuff. If you guys want to hear me talk about more stuff about being a YouTuber as well as other random topics, I do have a podcast. If you don't know, it's I'm part of a podcast called Route One Podcast. It's it's on YouTube. If you just look it up, it's there. Uh, I host it with Mercury, uh, Atrix, MJ, and uh, Aspirin, who you know they're all they're all very fun people. So yeah. Figured I'd plug it. I plug it once in a while. If you join my Discord, you get notifications for any uploads that come from me, whether it be on the Route 1 podcast channel, my Clips channel, my Twitch VODs channel, or this channel. So yeah, check that out. Might as well plug it while I have you guys here. Thank you all for watching. Sorry that uh, it's hard to get these matches right now, but recording this on the 24th, it's going up the 25th. We got like five more days of this. Then we get to play Series 13. I have yet to hit Master Ball on the official ladder. But yeah, have a nice night, guys, and see you in the next one. Bye.